Hello guys, welcome to my tutorial. Today we are going to learn the batch process. Okay. So here we do have the situation like when I press the X0 start push. Here we will write down the start, stop, and one more push button that is emergency stop. This x10 this x10 this x3 this is x0 here we have got the input and output lists so when i press the start button we have to turn on the wall zero that is uh, we are calling it as a inlet a or uh, uh, here you can see y0 liquid a inlet liquid b inlet and uh, y2 is a mixture outlet so whatever uh, mixture has been done that is taken out from the wall to or y2 so when i press the start push button y0 is activated and uh, when it reaches to the x1 level so when you start uh, filling immediately it starts the tank filling the tank and it reaches to x1 so we it will be stopped y1 will be stopped immediately and uh, sorry why why not will be stopped and y1 will be triggered here so when the second liquid starts filling x2 will be triggered because it reaches to the high level liquid reaches to the high level and y1 will be turned off immediately the y3 motor y3 will be turned on and it remain on for 30 second okay but we'll take in program five second okay and uh, after five second this motor will be turned off and y2 will be turned on to drain out all the wall uh, to drain out all the uh, content from the box okay to drain out all the content from the box and it we are considering it here to complete that process we need 60 seconds okay we need 60 seconds to complete the process so here uh, after 60 second y2 will be turned off so here we if we analyze this uh, system when i press the start button it starts filling but it will remain on because liquid is there still will be there in the container or a tank okay container or a tank and uh, when x1 is triggered we are turning off the y0 and turning on the y1 in the sense it is uh, 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 starting where it starting to fill the second liquid okay and second liquid when it reaches the level of the liquid reaches to x2 we are turning off we are turning off the y1 and we are turning on the motor okay using x2 we are turning on the motor and it runs for the 30 second to mix up uh, both the liquids and after 30 second it is turning off so here we have used one t0 okay so using that t0 only we are turning off this y3 and we are turning on this y2 to drain out the complete processed liquid okay and after 60 second because that draining out will be taken for the 60 second and after t60 uh, 60 second that means again here we are using one more timer in the sense t1 so using that t1 i am going to turn off this y2 okay i am going to turn off this y2 so this completes the process but during the draining out you just think about these sensors because this sensor will be remain on state until during the draining out during the draining out but because when this x1 is high what we have done like a why not we we are triggering again so instead of keeping this these both the sensors in on state we can use the rising edge trigger okay 
that we'll see in the program. After developing the program, we are going to introduce these things. Without the raising is trigger, how it will works, we will see. Okay, let's start developing the program. <clears throat> So here I have added already the comment list, like input A, inlet A, inlet B. This is a drain wall and mixer or agitator. X0 here we have taken start push button, low sensor, high sensor, stop BB and emergency push button. Okay. Now let's start the developing the ladder diagram. Simply first, when I trigger x0, I have to trigger y0 ld x0 so out y0. So, to keep this in on set, I'm going to use yeah, ld y0 so it will remain in on set continuously. And when this reaches to this and when this reaches to the position okay x1 okay this y not should stop that y not should stop so using x1 ldi that is nc ldi x1 using low sensor we are turning off the y0 that using that bit only ld x1 i am going to turn on out y1 that is inlet b so to keep this in on state we will latch it okay ld y1 so next bit is what it starts filling the second liquid and when it reaches to x2 we have to stop y1 okay so x2 ldi x2 we are stopped so when it stopped we have to turn on using that ld x2 that uh, high sensor only we have to use to start the motor motor address is what y3 so out y3 and to keep this in on state i will use f9 for the vertical line ld y3 this is the next is what uh, that motor should run for 30 second okay so ld because y3 only the bit is high so to turn on the timer dmr t0 space a 50 so 5 second i am going to take for uh, to keep the motor in on set uh, so here I will take a LDI uh, T0. Okay. Now motor is turned up. So using that T0 only, we have to turn on the drain wall that is Y2 out Y2. So to keep this in on set continuously, we have to use. Uh, Parallel contact F9 for the vertical line and LD Y2. Then, so this drain wall should remain on uh, for the 60 second. So, LD Y2, Y2 bit I will use to turn on the TMR space T1 space K 100. For the program, we are going to take this as the 5 second and 10 second. So, when T1 starts, we have to turn off the uh, drain wall. So, LDI, NC I will take using T1 I stopped. Okay. This completes the program. So, let's check the program. So, to compiling, turn on the simulator and download. So let's compile come up to compilation turn on the simulator and download it 
and go to online and okay here if i trigger uh, so we'll do one thing we'll take a test run which will definitely help us to <laughs> test the program so ld x0 ld x1 ld x2 ld x3 ld x10 and next uh, ld y0 ld y1 ld y2 ld y3 okay and out one dummy address will take this is all done so compile it and download it to download first start the simulator download it and next go to online and run so now let this set on so this is okay like uh, Mm. Inlet is on, and but when low sensor is on, and it will remain high because, as I said, here you can see uh, once the water is or liquid is crossed, this sensor will remain high. Okay, this sensor will remain high. Okay, but the thing is, what when this X1 is triggered y1 is off and y1 is turned on similarly uh, when a high sensor is triggered that mixer or agitator is started but you can see here what is the malfunction happening so agitator or mixer will remain in on state continuously why this be this is happening because these two sensors will remain high only because of these two sensors we are doing something like uh, because of this x1 we are turning on this wall y0 so you can see here uh, y2 is on because this high sensor is high okay so uh, after this timer again we are using y2 here so those all are remaining high continuously so instead of using the uh, bits directly so after uh, to turn on this uh, mixer or agitator what we are using that we will check okay here i am using x2 high sensor so high sensor i am using correct so high sensor will take the raising edge trigger and will see the result done compile it simulator on download run now we'll check the result set on wall a started or inlet a started low level sensor means when half tank is full low level sensor activated inlet b started that is second uh, inlet is on and uh, second liquid is filled and uh, when it starts filling a uh, high level sensor is on so that stops inlet b and turns on the agitator okay and it remains high for 5 second after 5 second drain wall is started but when turns on turns off the drain wall during that we have to set off this and set off this so you can see here again malfunction happen means it is not working properly because inlet b because we have not turned off this immediately it is better actually in uh, real time it happens but uh, it is better to have the raising edge trigger for this inlet b also it is started no so what we can do inlet for uh, low sensor also we'll use one raising is trigger that is better x1 and it is okay to have it now we'll compile turn on simulator 
download the new program and go to online and click on okay now let's check the program here set on level level sensor uh, activated to turn on wall b and uh, when high sensor is activated mixer motor started after that uh, five second drain wall should be started so drain while draining high sensor is turned off after a particular time delay uh, lower level sensor turned off then drain wall is turned off so now this is working fine guys so this is the final program uh, you can note it down or uh, you can develop your own program also by using set and reset bit that is a uh, that is also okay and you can have your own uh, different logics also you can write okay guys thank you for watching uh, and uh, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i upload a new videos you will get notified immediately thank you guys thank you for watching